KKX Weather Camera is brought to you by Lone Star Roof Systems. No jingles, just roofs. Good Tuesday evening, a mild one out there sitting at 72 degrees. Notice the southerly wind across the Bryan College Station. That's actually going to flip around to the north as we head into the overnight hours thanks to a weak cold front that's going to sneak its way in. We are 62 degrees in Caldwell, 65 in Brenham. Temperatures just a touch cooler out to the east where we have fallen into the 50s. 54 in Conroe, 58 degrees in Huntsville as well as Crockett. Now, if you have any evening plans, you're going to go out to the museum not expecting any showers or storms, so that is the good news. It is dry, nothing showing up on radar. And taking a look at the overnight hours, not expecting anything other than that switch to the northerly winds here in the Brazos Valley as that weak cold front kind of sneaks its way in from the north and northeast. But we're not expecting too much in the way of changes other than that switch of the winds. Tomorrow afternoon, not really going to hold temperatures down too much. Still going to climb up into the upper 60s, lower 70s, and that's indicative of the yellow and orange shade color regions that we see across the entire Brazos Valley going to deal with those light northerly winds at about five to 10 miles per hour. Now, we're in a northwesterly flow as we have this upper level ridge that is building just to our south and southwest, and we have this deep trough to our north and east. So you can see that northwestward uh, motion across the Brazos Valley ushering in that cold front. But I want you to keep your eye out to the west. This is where we're going to see uh, the next storm system crash into the west coast, and that's eventually going to impact us as it starts to eject into the Rockies. It's going to kind of open up into an open wave, but as it crosses over the Rockies, it's actually going to develop a surface low as we head into Thursday evening. This surface low is going to help draw in a cold front into the Brazos Valley as well as increase moisture as it races off towards the south and east as we head into late Thursday into early Friday. So let's take a look at that moisture increasing. Notice around uh, the evening hours on Thursday about four o'clock we see that surface low start to develop across eastern New Mexico and you can see the green areas starting to feed their way back into the Brazos Valley. That is uh, that Gulf moisture that is trying to sneak its way in. It's going to be pretty thin though, but you can see that we do see the moisture continuing to feed its way up into the Brazos Valley in to northern Texas as that low races off towards the east. But the moisture is just not going to be thick enough, unfortunately, to have uh, good enough precipita precipitation chances here other than some really spotty uh, activity across the Brazos Valley. Best chance is going to be across the east. We'll actually see some deeper moisture out across eastern parts of Texas as well as in the Louisiana and Mississippi. That's where we're probably going to see some showers and storms. Some of those could be on the strong side, but we're not expecting that here. The big impacts will be that cold front that moves its way in. Notice temperatures fall about 10 degrees behind that cold front. We're actually keeping an eye on a stronger cold front early next week. Temperatures likely going to fall into the 50s for highs and that may be a little conservative. It could be a little bit colder. We're going to continue to monitor that for you over the next few days. Ooh, that's that's kind of a nice little yeah, just in time for the holidays. Exactly. It's looking like we're going to get into a really active, cold, wet weather pattern at the yeah. middle and end of next week. So but yep. the weather is not oh, the yeah. only thing that's changing, right, Mike? Well, tell no, me, what's that up? Was, that was smooth, Gabby. That was very smooth. The UIL announced its reclassification numbers today. That means a couple of Brazos Valley high schools are on the move, some up, some down. We'll talk about that. Plus, okay.